Hello. This is video 19. The unexpected unintentional video. I was going to um, do a demo of our digital logic simulator program using the majority function and I thought you know what they understand that one so well I'll just let them do that one. So that will be your lab assignment. This is an alternative. This is a different function Boolean function, digital logic function of three variables, still A, B, and C, and for lack of any creativity, I call it example two, where the majority was example one. So this will, I hope this will be fast and nasty. I just want to get a formula to work with so I can build this circuit in the demo, and then you'll be able to do the same thing with the majority that we've already looked at. Okay, example two equals, and we're looking for the ones, there's one of the ones, not A, not B, C not A, not B, C. And then how else could we get a one? Well, we get a one right here. Uh, not A, B, not C. Not A, B, not C. Or here's another one. Uh, A, not B, not C. A, not B, not C. Oops. Can't talk and write at the same time. There. And, and, and. Or, 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 wait, there's more. One more. A, B, and C plane. Straight up. A, and, B, and, C. Okay? That's the canonical sum of products. S-O-P. Sum of products. And it's canonical because it's in the right order. You got all that from the last video. Now then, now I got a formula I could use for an example without stealing all of your fun of doing the majority function yourself. So that was a quick one, wasn't it? I'll see you online.